Hey what's going on guys, today I'll show you how you can add this type of smoke effect on your text with Elementor. Sometimes this type of fun animation attract your visitors and this help them to remember your website for this kind of little thing. So that's why sometimes you should try this type of fancy animation. And here obviously you don't need any extra plugin or have to have Elementor Pro. Everything we do here just by Elementor. So let's see how can we do that. So first of all, let's go to pages and here I have already created an empty page. So let's edit this with Elementor. Okay, so inside this page, first of all, let's add an heading widget and let's change its text. Let's align this to center and let's design this. So go to style tab and make its color to fully white but we can't see this text so let's add a background image for this section so let's click on here and go to the style tab here first of all I want to add a background image so let's click here let's add this image here first let's make this section to full screen so let's go to layout and here make its height to fit to screen okay then again go to this style tab and from here let's make the background position to center and also the size to cover and i want to also add a background overlay so let's go to here and choose the overlay color to black and i also want to make it more darker so let's make it opacity to 8 okay and after that let's go back to our heading style so let's click on here and i also want to change its font so let's go to its typography and change its font to this and increase the font size and after that i also want to add another heading under that so let's duplicate this and let's change its text to this and make its font size to smaller so let's go to its typography and make it to 35 and make its font weight to 400 and here i also want to reduce the gap between these two headings so let's go to these headings advanced settings and add some negative margin for this okay right now if we save this and preview our page we can see our heading looks beautiful and right now i want to add this animation for this heading to add this animation you have to write down some custom css and javascript code but don't worry about that i have give the code snippets link on my description you can get that code from here so after clicking on that link you are going to this page and from here if you scroll down you can see this code snippet here and to copy this let's click on here so after that let's go back to our page and here i want to add an html widget so let's go to our widget area and from here search for the html widget and drag it right at the bottom then we paste our code snippet here right now i want to add the animation with this heading so let's click on the edit heading here and go to advanced and here we need to add a class to make it work here we type the name of the class okay which is smoke and then click on update okay right now if we hover over on this text we can see this cool animation and here if you also want to add the animation also for this setting you can simply put the class name also for this setting so let's add this let's go to edit this heading and also here give the class name smoke okay we can see this animation is now also work for this heading here if you want you can add this animation also for the text editor widget here if we add this text editor widget and also give it the class name to this here we can also see this animation for our paragraph but i don't like to use this animation for this small text 
and the paragraphs which looks really really ugly so let's remove this here if you notice you can see here are basically two animations the one is the smoke animation and the other one is the back animation when the letters come back so you can also control your animation from your custom code so if we go to our code here on the line number eight if we increase the time to three second you can see this animation now took much longer time okay so after that here i want to make it to the default value and if you also want to change the speed of your back animation you can also do that from here and if you also want to change the time gap between these two animation you can also do that from here so you can see how easily we can create this kind of smoke effect in elementor so that's it for today if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more tips and tricks Thank you so much, I'll see you on my next.